that you make me feel I don't know if you're real I wanna put you in that spotlight Looking at you all night Put you in that spotlight Oh, you make me feel fine Wanna look at you all night Put you in that spotlight Oh, you know Hello my friends, it is Crystal and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all the outside motivation, lots of cleaning and yard work and planting of things and also just making the final touches on our deck. I've already shared a deck makeover part one, so this will almost be like the part two version. But anyways, I'm gonna take you along with me today, so let's get started. If you watched my most recent day in the life video, I picked up three of these perennials from our local greenhouse and I'm going to start with planting these. Now I was really drawn to the color and the size and shape of the plants themselves. I'm going to be planting three of them into our landscaping, basically right in front of our deck area. Right now it's just very blank. We have not done anything with it for years. And I think once these grow to be a little bit taller, it will be the perfect thing to kind of cover that gap underneath our deck. But that is what they're called, hedge cotton easter. They can get pretty big, but I plan to keep them probably a medium size. So what I'm doing here is just kind of moving out some of the rock and landscaping stones that we've just placed there over the years, making sure I have them all lined up before I get started planting. I believe why our rock is still full of dirt is from when we pulled out the old plants that were here. It was a little bit dirty, but that's okay. I'm wearing gloves. Now I'm just showing you up close how I actually add the perennials into our rock. I basically just cut the landscaping tarp in an X pattern and then dig my hole and then I'll place the perennial in that hole and then tuck the flaps back up around the plant. Over the years, I've created my own landscaping tradition, I will call it, but each year it seems like I will add three or four new perennials into our landscaping, and that way it's not an overwhelming expense, and I can see how the plants or flowers grow over the summer and fall months, and then decide what I want to add next type of thing. So there's definitely still some gaps in our rock area, but it's it's always a work in progress in my mind. I look forward to each year adding something new. And so that's my plan to that right of the three bushes that I'm planting. There is room for probably one more, but that'll most likely be a next year project. We were young and we were free and running never bothered about what could be coming every day we danced and life was smiling we were young and You'll have to let me know in the comments below if you are one who enjoys doing the yard work and landscaping or if there's someone else in your home who does. I would say most definitely that person in our household is me. I do all of the 
landscaping, we shall say, and the flowers. Usually my husband is the one who mows the lawn and does the weeding and around everything, but today I'm actually going to be mowing because he's out of town. So anyways, I really enjoy this part of the year, getting out, fresh air, some sunshine, and it also just is so rewarding to watch everything grow over the warmer months. Oh, I got you. There's no reason to. Next on my list to take care of is planting all of the flowers for our deck. Now I shared a deck makeover video about a month ago where I power washed everything off, set up our new furniture, but it was still a little bit cold to do any flowers or planting. But now it's finally warm enough to add all of the flowers. So I'm just using a lot. All of these planters actually are ones I've had from years past. The larger two are from Menards. I think the medium size was from Tractor Supply and the two smaller, more tin cups that you see are part of a planter that I ordered, I think last year from Decor Steels. It goes by our steps. I'll share with you here in a little bit what that looks like, but I had taken the kids shopping with me on Mother's Day to pick out a lot of these flowers. So there's really no color scheme other than all the colors. So it's going to be very mix and match, just using what's left over from decorating our front porch. Close to me, you love so On my previous front porch video, I had lots of requests to actually share the names of the flowers that I am planting. So I'm going to try my best to let you know the names of most of these flowers, probably not all of them. So if there's one that I miss, just let me know and I will get back to you. But the red ones are just bright red cabaret. They look like petunias to me. Now these yellow ones are very pretty. They always do so well for me, but they're sorbet yellow violas. It seems like those two flowers, petunias, violas, they are my go-tos. They just do so well in our full sun area, which is what our deck is. Of all the flowers that we purchased for the summer, these ones are hands down my favorite. The color on the petals are so pretty. They are yellow and purple swirl. They're actually called a Cool Wave Blueberry Swirl Pansy. And I thought they deserved their own pot. So I'm excited to see those grow. And then I believe the kids actually picked out these pink ones here that I'm planting. These are geraniums. When it comes to actually potting all of these flowers, I really don't follow the rules. I know you should have a thriller, a filler, and a spiller. I kind of follow that, but at the end of the day, I really just go in and mix and match what I think looks good. And that's kind of the fun part for me is putting everything together. I thought these ones were so pretty. They don't really match anything, but that's okay. These are a black velvet geranium. This morning have so clear a light as any To see the horizon and the far Excuses were two for a penny 
But they've all gone out the window of this car And when I feel the wind on my face All that ever was is a The flowers have been watered and where I planted the perennials, I wanted to go in and just spray all the rock down and of course water them, but it was very muddy as you saw. So as we get rain throughout the next few months, it'll all wash away and you will just see the rock, but I just wanted to try to clean them up a little bit for you here. And you'll also see I have where I'm leaning on a small raised garden right now. I don't really talk about that because I am not a professional gardener by any means, but I'll update you in vlogs coming up. But we did plant some strawberries in here which we're all excited about. Last year I tried some vegetables. They were okay, but I think that strawberries are just a better fit for us. So we're gonna see how that goes. So send me all your strawberry tips. Now there's no way I could get all of this done in one day because I try to get most of my work outside either while the kids are playing or during nap times. And so it's actually the next day I'm moving on now to try to clean out our landscaping just a little bit. Now this past fall we went through and we do this every year where we will trim everything down and clean it up for the winter months, but of course you can't get it all. And as we have our new little sprouts growing in, it's time to just pull out some of the dead stuff that uh, can go. So that's what I'm doing here. And I was really inspired to do this because all of you know, we had new siding put on our house and we still are cleaning up after that. Not only are there just pieces of our old siding that I'm finding in our yard and landscaping, but there are a ton of nails, which they did warn us about. I've already gone around, I'd say probably four or five times picking up nails in our rocks and I still find more. So I would say after I was done on this day of making a full loop around our house, I probably collected another 30 nails in our rocks, which is dangerous and I don't want any of that in our rock. So yeah, I was doing, picking up the dead landscaping and then also kind of searching for nails within the rock as well. I also found this little bunch of leaves stuck in our gutter, so that was really gross. But this is everything I've collected so far. When I was done with collecting and cleaning out all of our yard, I had about one and a half buckets worth. It's amazing what you will find as you get up close with all of your plants. It's kind of funny, last year when I was trimming down bushes, I found an old sippy cup that had disgusting milk inside of it. I found LOL doll body parts, not even a full doll, just body parts, hot wheels, golf balls. You just, sometimes you just never know what you're going to find. Keep it on repeat, please don't let it fade, just sit.
for my next project, I am going to start cleaning our windows. Now the highest two that you can barely see in this shot have already been cleaned by our contractors back earlier in the spring. So I was very happy about that. I was actually planning to hire someone to do this, but since my contractor tackled those top two, I just decided that I can make it a point to get to the rest of them. So I'm just using an extendable ladder. If I can find it, I will link it, but it's just one from Menards. I think they call it world's greatest extendable ladder, something like that, but it goes to varying heights and adjustments. It's really nice. But I just have to tell you how amazing it is to have clean windows. The one I just cleaned here is our kitchen sink window and it is night and day difference. These are our living room windows. And when I first started, I was like, there's no way I'm going up to get the transom window on the top. But after I got done cleaning all the other windows, I'm like, Crystal, you cannot leave those. You have to do them because those are the ones that you see when you are sitting in our room. So you'll see me go back when I'm done cleaning all the lower ones. I'll adjust the ladder, make it a little bit higher and get them taken care of. But I'm just using the Sprayway Cleaner. I believe some of you told me there's a really good one to use on your windows outside, but I cannot remember what it is, but I do want to look into doing something like that. I will say we also own a squeegee that I have been known to use as well on some of these higher up windows, but I really just wanted to get up there and use some good old fashioned elbow grease to get these windows super clean. joys of outdoor spaces. So about a month and a half ago, I power washed our entire deck, but as you can see, it needs to be cleaned yet again. It's a very dark composite deck and I feel like it shows everything, specifically dust, as you can see it flying up as I am sweeping. I'm not going to power wash today, but you can go back and watch my deck video if you are looking for motivation or want to see how I do it. But for today, I'm just going to sweep everything off, at least get the dust off and the leaves and just do some cleaning up here before I bring up all of the flowers that I just planted.
It feels like it never happened Maybe just a dream Could it be my imagination Running out of steam All I know is every time I see you I feel insecure I'm unable to find the words How can I be sure I'm holding on When everything's gone Just trying to figure out the best setup now for all of my flowers and pots but you will see really anything goes back here it's all uh, different at this point I've just collected a lot of these planters over the year it gives me that eclectic look which I think is totally fine now in years past I've had ferns that do pretty well on our deck considering it's not really a fully shaded area and so I am putting one on here. It's just a very cheap one from Walmart. I'm putting it up against the house to hopefully give it as much shade as I possibly can. And we'll just see how it goes. I may have to move it to our front to a more shaded area. But like I said, I've had good luck in years past. So I'm just going to roll with it for now. Now, when I was actually planting flowers the day before, I ran out of soil. So I had to pick up just a tiny bag from Walmart to finish up my planting. So I'm going to put these in the pot. I won't show that to you because I feel like I've showed you enough potting in the last couple of videos, but I did want to show you this wildflower blend I picked up from Dollar Tree. I had some leftover soil. I didn't really want to go out and buy any flowers, but I thought, you know what, it'd be fun for the kids and I to watch that grow if it does. I hope it does. So the last piece of yard work I'm going to be sharing with you today is actually mowing our lawn. I used to mow our lawn all of the time before kids. I actually, I don't mind mowing. It gets me up and moving. So it's fantastic exercise. And then also some sunshine at the same time. And let's not even talk about lawnmower lines and how satisfying they are. In my last vlog, I briefly mentioned that I was going to be meeting with a landscaping company to come out and do some work that we aren't able to do. One of them being putting cement pavers around all of our rock and our landscaping. We have some black plastic ones right now and they are just falling apart. So that would be nice to have professionally done as well as just a cement patio put down on our ground level, just gives us a lot more space. And it would be nice to have a spot to sit as the kids are playing in the yard. So more to come on that. The nature of any project right now is that things are pushed back. And unfortunately, they are booking out towards the end of summer at this point. So it's not something we'll be able to enjoy this year. But I'm still very excited about that. So more to come. I'm still waiting to hear more. Trying my best not to lose control. To wrap up today's get it all done outside, I want to bring you up on to our deck and share with you what everything looks like all planted and 
cleaned up for summer. I hope today's video brings you some motivation or some new ideas, but I do want to say thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.